Mail and Mechanic here. On my workbench today, I have my transfer case out of my Jeep. I have a 83 CJ7. Uh, anyway, this is a Dana 300 transfer case here. And uh, I wanted to modify it to improve its function. And what I mean by that is a lot of guys, a lot of off-road guys, would do what's called a twin stick modification. And uh, the way that works is these two right here are the shift rods that control the front and the rear output of the transfer case. So how a transfer case works is the motor or the transmission is mounted here, the power comes in, and the transfer case decides does it go uh, out the back to the rear rail or does it combine these two to give you four-wheel drive. And in, in the stock configuration, the way Dana set it up is you would have one shift lever in here and you move it back and forth and there's a little plate in here that would decide are you going into two-wheel drive, two-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive high, or four-wheel drive low. Those are your choices. And I wanted to have a little bit more choice and what I mean by that is I wanted to shift the front drive shaft and the rear drive shaft independently. So that, that means I could go two wheel high, two wheel low in the rear, or front wheel high or front wheel low or both. It gives me four wheel drive high, four wheel drive low. Um, I did not want to have two sticks coming out next to my shifter. I wanted to keep it looking as stock as possible. So these are the parts that I've modified here. Uh, the transfer case is modified internally. What I did is I took out those little pills that are in the shift rails here. And what those prevent is you going, uh, f you can't get your front wheel, uh, you can't get in the front wheel drive without the, the rear being uh, engaged. So you take those pills out and now these rods will move independently. Um, but the way I went about it is instead of having two independent shift levers here is I only wanted one so I made these plates here and they're basically a mirror image of each other and you can see the shape in here and the shape corresponds to the end of this shifter rod and it fits in there and you can see there's a notch here. So it fits in this one, and then it fits there, and it fits there, okay? And the way this goes together is these plates fit into the shifter forks. And these shifter forks are not modified, and these are just quarter-inch plates that I've modified with this profile on it. And you can see you're going to slide past each other like this. So what you do is you assemble them, put them in here, and these are the stock pins that hold them in place. So the only parts I had to manufacture is this. I also made this plate here. And what this plate does is now that I've taken the safety out of here, what you don't want to do is put the front in low range in the back and high range or vice versa. Um, so this prevents that. And uh, one is in, say one's in low and one's in high, they're opposite. So this, this prevents that. I'll show you how that works. So we're both in low range now and the back is in neutral and we'll try to go to high and it pulls both of them out. So that's your safety right there. So you cannot put them in you cannot put them in opposite, uh, one in high and one in low. So that prevents that. That's what that plate is. But getting back to this, um, this is the stock original lever that came on the Dana 300. And I've modified it so I can have movement this way. Let me move the camera here so you can see it. All right, so I have movement side to side like this. 
And that's important because it allows me to select, am I doing my front wheel, which is this lever, or my back, which is this lever. All right, so here's a close-up of how this system works here. And you can see I have my two plates installed here. And the modified lever allows you to move back and forth here. And this notch, if I kind of move it back or forward, I can feel a notch between them. And that tells me I'm selecting both, both rods here. So let's go to four wheel, uh, four wheel low is right there. So you see it, it moved both of them out. We'll go back to neutral and then we'll go to, that's four wheel high right there. Actually that's, that's four wheel low and uh, the other one was four wide. Anyway, um, so we'll go back to neutral and let's do front wheel high. The back is in neutral and this will be front wheel low right there. Okay. And that's neutral right there. And we'll go rear wheel. That's rear wheel low right there. Neutral and rear wheel high is right there. So you can see that's how you select all the functions. We'll do low range right there. Low range four wheel drive right there. But anyway, that's all the functions. Uh, shifting these independently with only one shift lever. So this gives me the same function as a twin stick with only one stick. So looking in the Jeep, it looks stock. It looks factory. It doesn't look modified. But I have all of the function of a twin stick. Um, and it was just really a simple modification of these plates right here. So this is really what's what's been modified are these right here. So and they're just kind of a mirror image of each other. Like that. So um, also the lever here is modified. Um, I opened this up right here, which allows it to pivot like this, you want it to pivot back and forth. Also, uh, to get room in the opening on the uh, transmission tunnel, I had to cut it here and then bend it over. Um, so it would, it would clear that. Well, that's really the only modifications I made to this. Uh, uh, but that's it. I think it works pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's as probably as an intuitive as a twin stick. Uh, but for me, uh, I think it works good. So you get the benefit of a, of a twin stick operation, but you get the stock, uh, the stock lever in your Jeep if you want to keep it stock looking. Um, but anyway, that's what I did. And uh, anyway, thank you for watching. And I uh, hope you like this video.